Hi guys, this will be a quick demo of the accounts production module in Capium. As you can see here, this is where we have the accounts submission summary. So we've just clicked onto the accounts production module. And again, any submissions that are done due or overdue would be automatically showcased on the pie chart on the left, as well as we have a monthly submission breakdown on the right as well. Uh, just below here, this is where we have all of our clients. So the first thing you need to do is you need to import the clients. So you can either have that bulk imported in my admin via CSV, or you can have your clients added in one by one by clicking on plus client over here. So once the clients are all set up, I'll click onto one of my clients just uh, on the link. And this will then take me into their specific dashboard. So you can see they've got the client details, annual reports, and manager reports just on this breakdown. Uh, on the left side of the screen, this is where we have all of our accounts production processes. And just to make this process easy to follow, I will break this down into three main steps. So the first step is we create our trial balance. The second step is the accounts uh, preparation phase. And the third step is the submission uh, to either company's house or to HMRC. So if I kick start that by clicking onto the trial balance, you've got the blue button at the top where we can create a new one and we can fill out all the details for that. So we've got the reference number, description, type, which can either be annual or management. So if you select the annual, you've got your accounting periods, which you can select. And we have our modes of import just below. So with Capium, because it is an integrated software, that is one of our greatest USPs, um, especially with obviously bookkeeping, it can just automatically synchronize that data set into the account. But at the same time, we do support external integration such as QuickBooks, Xero, FreeAgent. And of course, if you are using other softwares or Excel, then CSV would be the be best alternative for that. And manual is just from scratch, basically. So if I select bookkeeping as an example, click create. Uh, the reason why I do that is because we have figures there already. And as you can see, we've got uh, the debit and the credit automatically coming through and it's all balanced out at the bottom here as well. So if you're happy with that, you can save it and go on to the next step, which is now preparing the accounts under the annual accounts section here on the reports. So if we click on to add new report, this is where we can fill out all the details. We've got the reference number, description, form type, which can either be a full account going to HMRC or an abridged filleted account, which will go to company's house respectively. So if I then select my full account, I can then select a trial balance I would like to use. And I do have the additional option of using a previous year trial balance as well. Uh, in my case, I will just untick that box and we generate the account out through the system and we can then see how that looks. Um, as you may notice, we do have a logo here, which one of my colleagues has uh, added on. And just to clarify guys, if there's any logo you'd like to apply onto the accounts or any changes in terms of the disclosures, notes, font sizes, spacing, and so forth, that can all be done in the report settings, which we'll go into just after this uh, showcase. So uh, as you can see with the accounts, they will have the tagging supported. So you've got the contents page, company info, director's report, balance sheet, income statement. So all the relevant sections that you would expect within the accounts would be automatically generated based on the TB and the specific templates that you've got and the uh, report settings you've got selected uh, in the system. So if you're happy with it, obviously you can just scroll through just to check how it all looks. You can always have that saved as a draft. In my instance, I will back out as I don't want to uh, clog up this account with any more dummy accounts. But in terms of customizing the reports, you've got two main areas to do this. You can either go to report settings on the right, or you can go to the settings on the left and go to um, report settings. So under report settings, this is where we have the company info. So if you're dealing with you know different uh, company sizes, small or micro entity, for example, you can obviously have that selected and you can then obviously select FRS 102, 1A or FRS 105 uh, respectively. And obviously we've got the dormant accounts. If you're dealing with those, you can have that selected. You can always have that saved. Company contact is where we've got the directors, secretaries, solicitors and bankers. You've got your director's report which you can also go through and customize. And as you can see, we do have certain sections already selected. So if they're selected, we have these blue icons on the right where we can go through and then make those uh, comprehensive changes to those sections. So we can always go to these tags. We can apply them onto this note contents on the left 
We can always do ordered lists, tables. We can reset the contents if we want to and have that saved. And of course, once you've made those changes to like the share capital, accountants report and so forth, and you're happy with that, you can always go back and regenerate the accounts that you've, gen uh, well, you've created in the previous step, right? And then of course, once you've done that you and you're happy with the accounts, you can technically go to tasks and have that submitted to uh, a company tax. Uh, also, if you're dealing with corporation tax uh, for the full accounts, you can go directly to the corporation tax module, create the CT600 with the full accounts directly attached to them. Uh, another thing I did want to mention, guys, with the benefit of the accounts production is CapiSign. So technically, uh, when you have your accounts prepared, you do have the option to have those e-signed directly through the software as well. Uh, with CapiSign, uh, technically, you can uh, get this as an add-on to the accounts and tax modules. Uh, however, uh, if you do have our full suite product or at least practice management with uh, the package that you have, then uh, you do get CapiSign for free with this product. So any account, tax return or anything like that, you can then go to that action drop down on the right. And technically, it doesn't give me the option as this is a draft already. But if this is, um, you know, a new account that you've just generated, there will be an additional option to send to CapiSign. And then once that's sent, the, the client can either have that signed via email or via the Cape and Hub portal. And you can then have that submitted to Companies House or to HMRC. Uh, but aside from that, guys, that was just a brief showcase of the accounts production module. Uh, thanks for watching.